Yo! What up guys and welcome back to another one. Today, 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 oh yeah. We're gonna be doing the cow blind challenge for the starlings out on the dairy farm. Now if you're new to the channel, yes I built this cow blind and I built it specifically shooting starlings at the dairy farm. Like I said, if you're new to the channel, me and my buddy Jordan, we hunt his buddy's dairy farm all the time and we are shooting invasive starlings all the time. Every, every chance we get, pretty much. We're trying to help out the farm, keep the starlings out of the cattle's food. That's the problem. The starlings get in the food, they poop all over the food, they take out all the nutrients, all the good ingredients for the food, for the cows, yeah, they take it out. So, invasive starlings, we go out there and we shoot them. Now, me and Jordan been having a little bit of trouble shooting them in abundance because we haven't been able to hide that well. So, the theory is today we're going to sit this out in the pasture where the cattle are. And there's a main traffic way that goes from their water source back to their food source. So, theory is, is they won't even see it coming. Bam! Right in the beak. Oh yeah, we got them in the old topper here. Hi, Frederick. Hi, buddy. Let's open it up. Let's let's say hi here. Oh, hi, buddy. He's feeling great. Um, eating pretty good, pretty steady. Uh, I think he just, he's on a good little eating habit of his own. And uh, yeah, he's just doing better and better every day. I'm telling you what, he's a stage five clinger. He will not leave my side, dude. But very good boy. We are loving him. Now, he's not hunting trained yet. He's not even been on a hunt. I don't know if he's been around a gun yet. So today is going to be a uh, let's get him around the guns and see how how he reacts to that. He, we still got to get weight on Fred. We can't be running Fred. So the only goal today is is to take it very light, very mild with Fred, and we are going to just do some shooting around him. Shoot the starlings around him. If he doesn't like it, I can bring him back to the truck and throw him in the topper with some water. So today is a big venture for me and Frederick. First time out, we're gonna see how he does. Watch out, buddy, I'm gonna close it. Watch out. Now, good thing about my topper is it does have side windows. So, right now it's only sitting at like 70 degrees, so with these bad boys open, just fine in there. It's not bad at all. If I didn't have them windows open, it does get hot. So going down the road, Fred should be nice and comfy. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> How goofy is this thing going to look going down the highway? <laughs> oh, we're going to get some looks today, boys. There's our dairy cows that we're going to be mimicking today with the old cow blind. I mean, come on, guys. What do you think? It looks pretty similar, right? I know. I know. I'm an artist. You don't have to tell me. One thing I was thinking about, though, uh, Parvo... He still, he could be contagious up to three weeks. Is it okay for him to be around these cattle? I'm gonna have to ask Jordan when he gets here. Gonna have to ask Jordan, for sure. You know, it may not be a good deal if we bring him in there and he might poop or something and, and a cow eats it or sniffs it. I don't know. Maybe Parvo doesn't affect cows. Not good news here. I just Googled, can dairy cattle get parvo? And right here, I'm going to read a little bit of this. I'm glad I thought about this, y'all. This, it, I mean, I don't know. It, it could or could not be a catastrophe. You just never know. Uh, but this is what it says. Bovine parvovirus infection, the status of BPV. Pageant is unclear. Uh, believed to cause diarrhea in neonatal calves. I believe I pronounced that right. And respiratory and reproductive disease in adult cattle. Virus shedding, meaning when they get rid of the virus, is not always associated with diarrhea. So, yep, Fred cannot go on this hunt, y'all. That sucks. That really, see, he can be contagious up to three weeks. Yeah, we're sitting at like a week, not even a week, really. Yeah, not even a week. Two days shy of a week. That's not fun. Dad gummit. Oh, I that that really does. That's an old kicker in the sticker, you know. That's a uh, man. That's that's not fun. I was really really hyped to take him on this hunt, but uh, like I said, it's always better to be safe than sorry. The last thing I what we're trying to do out here is protect the cattle. 
and uh, I about went and made a huge mistake. I'm glad I thought about it though. That's the thing. That, that's a good thing is kind of looking forward. Uh, any, this is just a little learning lesson uh, for myself and for y'all. Um, you know, virus, parvovirus, it can affect a lot of other animals and maybe I'm wrong. Maybe Google's completely wrong and, and you know, the cattle may not be susceptible to it, but I'm not going to be the one to find out. I just briefly read a little bit and right off the bat it was like, nope, not, not good. So we got about 30 minutes until Jordan is probably going to be done at work. So that'll give me just enough time to take Fred back home. I'm not going to make him sit in the bed of the truck in the top or the entire time. So, yep, never fails. Well, just sitting here waiting for this train to end and I felt some crawling up my leg. Tick number two for the season. Yeah, beware y'all. The ticks are out and about. They're thick. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, good lord. Dude, that's, the, yeah. that's strong. <laughs> oh, whew, they got a new shipment of tacos too. Ugh, that's all leftover old waste tacos. Corn and beans. Corn and beans. Yeah. Ugh, goodness. High in protein, but man, it stinks when oh, rain on. Oh my goodness. So, like I said, they got a new shipment of chocolate. Chocolate they use as a corn supplement. Basically, it's a sugar supplement. Look <laughs> at all this. There was 300 pounds of straight sugar in it, too. Oh, that's straight sugar. I was like, is that mold? No, they got dumped in on top of it, but it's just pure sugar. Oh, my goodness. Look at all the pieces. Of, I mean, there's like Reese's in there. Look at that. The packages. Oh, look at this, yeah. Yummy caramel chocolate. Oh yeah. That's crazy. Oh yeah, look at all, those are like the Russell Stover deals. Look at those. And kids on the farm have strong immune systems. Oh yeah. I mean, <laughs> good stuff. Well, I gotta try one. Ow, even cutter, covered in sugar. Oh. <laughs> Could never tell it came from a pile on a cattle farm. Nope. Wow. Isn't that crazy? Mm -hmm. What's your two cents? It looks like a cow. It does, dude. It's a big black and white blob. <laughs> they should not suspect us. No. Nah. They should fly right over. It, it should be taking candy from a... <laughs> cow? <Maybe. laughs> oh, starling, yeah. Yeah. Old girls. Old girls just to eating. Really? I'm not sure if you're around here or not. Oh, look at these big girls. Hi, huh, girl. Five. Yesterday. Oh, he's, yeah, he's only a day old. That five, one's not five, nine. tagged yet, so that one's this morning. Oh. Hey there, guy. Look how cute they are. Yeah. Like Jordan said, this one here, he's not even tagged yet. So that means he was born today. He's like, oh. Isn't it crazy how fast they can stand and whatnot? Insane. Yeah, it is. It's insane. You got legs underneath you. What do you know? <laughs> oh no! It is a blocked road with poo. Oh, oh, oh! You sunk, dude. Well, y'all go first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not bad. Whew. We have had a ton of rain, so there are just sloughs of poo everywhere. Oh. Alright, we already got the uh, blind set up, and uh, yeah, let's get there. Huh? We are avoiding poo like no other here. Woof! Oh. <laughs> it is a must do. Oh! Well, here she is. This is where we're going to set up first. Now we have a main shed over there, and then the main shed, the main shed over here. Like I said earlier, this flyway is a flyway out for water. This is where they're going and getting a drink is out here, y'all. So we're gonna give her a whirl. We gotta find some buckets though. Definitely gonna need some buckets to sit on. Would be nice. Bringing them buckets up. I was lazy. Oh, well we're in here. Dude, 
It's, it's hot. More, yeah. <laughs> so the black paint, yeah, it's hot in here. Um, we probably need to cockeye it a little bit this way so we're getting a side wind in here. Yep. But I will tell you, we are hid. I mean, moo. <laughs> yeah, moo. <laughs> That's great. Honestly, there's no reason why this shouldn't work. It is warm though. I will warn you if you ever do this, it is a warm one in here, y'all. Oh my goodness. And it's only 80, degree, 80 degrees right now. So we're going to definitely have to get uh, the old cow blind hunts out of the way before the summer heads. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Up here's one. Here's one. Get him. Uh, tree. Tree in the way? Yeah. Darn it. Look at yeah, this guy one. here. He's looking at us. He's like, <laughs> she's like, man, something don't look right here. What's going on here? I don't get it. <laughs> that don't look natural. <laughs> that don't look natural at all. Nice shot. Barely got the camera on. I don't Sorry. think I did. I didn't realize it was one until like at the last second. Oh, you downed him. That was a good shot though. But he is dead. He is dead. Bird number one down for Jordan. I better start shooting here. I want to I want to film with the big camera, but. Uh, What's like all the, this coming like right here? Blackbird. Black, nothing, all, nothing. Blackbirds. All blackbirds, yep. That's one. Nice yeah. shot! You smacked him. Woo. I was gonna let you shoot, but then he was getting far away. No, yeah, I, I kind of lost him in the sun. Oh. I was like, ah, where'd he go? I didn't know. I'll tell you what, guys, the shooting is a lot slower today. We have been cleaning house on the Starlings here. A lot of you guys have been enjoying the videos, and I appreciate all the positive feedback all the time. But you know what? We're doing our job here and it's really showing its face. We are driving these starlings out of here. But it's not fun anymore. <laughs> yeah, it's, the shooting it's is still not... fun. It's just not what it used to be. Exactly. The shooting's fun, but it's just not what it used to be for the shooting, y'all. But it's good to see that we're doing our job here and we're, we're helping the farmer out. Yeah. No starlings, all blackbirds. Whew. Well, it's definitely not getting any cooler. He's on the board with two. I haven't even took a shot yet. Shooting's limited, guys. We just got done moving because uh, this is the flight line that we're seeing today. This is where we're sitting. We got the feed bunks up here, the cattle up yonder here. We got the poop pond right in front of us here. And this is the main flyway today, it seems like. So, if you guys like these videos, you got to hit that thumbs up button right now for your boy. I've had a lot of positive comments from you guys. Bobby, get back on them starlings. Well, we're gonna have to find new places because we're running it dry here. It's for good reason. Here we go. Take your right one. I'm taking that left one. Did I get him? Oh, I think I did. I think he rolled on top of the shed. Did you shoot? Nope. You didn't? I pulled a bobby and you know, I kind of had it. Uh, oh, it you didn't put there. it. He definitely pulled a bobby. Ah. Oh, barely, barely missing. I barely got the camera on for that. Of course you got the camera on for that one. I know you did. <laughs> yep. Oh, he's wounded. Yep, there oh. he is right in the water, baby. He had to back me up on that one. I, I hit him and he oh, went yeah, he roo, wobbling. Roo, roo. <laughs> but he was not falling, so I yeah, shoot at him. We shoot him again. Oh yeah, here he comes, here he comes, boy. I said F it, I'm gonna <laughs> give her a whirl. <laughs> We have done a number on them. I mean, it's incredible. There used to be thousands here at all times. Now there's nothing. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I'm getting a tornado. Tornado watching effect. Uh-oh. It's gonna be getting crazy around here. Well, the old cow blind is working, but like I said, there's just not many starlings here anymore. This big old storm right here is building and moving in, so there's not much shooting going on. The ones that we have shot, they don't mind the blind. It's what we usually do when it gets slow. We do, we get out here and we go walking around and uh, do some cowboy hip shooting action going on. See if we can shoot anything out here. Starlings in the back. Yeah, we got them starlings in the back. I love that song. I'm torn about it. You're torn. All right, there should be some dang birds up in here. Yep, this is the area right here, boys. We have seen probably 20 starlings. They're on the east side of the farm over here where they store all the implements and everything. They're going out to feed in this big field. And we have seen more starlings on this side, like I said. So, 
Uh, I don't know if we have, we already moved the cow blind one time. I don't know if we have the energy to really move it again. So we're just gonna kind of duck and weave around corners and see if we can shoot them. Well, we're gonna spread out. Jordan's staying back there. Oh, there's a swing and a miss for Bobby. He's dead. Yeah, buddy. That's that was a heck of a shot. Miss. Well, Jordan's shot. I don't know if he got him or not. Here comes one right here. Let's see if I can pluck him. Ooh, missed him. He turned on me. He held up at about 35 yards on me. He seen me. That's what's good about that cow blind. I almost want to put it over here and try it. I think we'll wait on another day here because the storms are building like crazy. We got tornado watches flaring up everywhere. Well, here's one that I downed here. That's what a starling is if you don't know. Now you know them, uh, them yellow beaks. You'll see them in Walmart parking lots. I mean, you just see them everywhere. Um, these starlings, very invasive. Shoot them! Jeez, it's like we've killed every one of them. I'm serious. You guys remember the first video when we came out here? It was awesome. We shot the crap out. What are you doing up there, man? Getting the tactical advantage. Well, Jordan, I didn't even know he was up on the roof, but yeah. Jordan, I was wondering where them starlings were falling from. Oh, hey, there was a comment. Someone said, you guys need to get up on one of the sheds and shoot starlings. It's a good idea, isn't it? Well, it's up there, but this is not good camouflage. For yeah, it definitely. But if you guys want to see that video, I guess we could get some, make some decoys, put them on the edge. I think that might be a good idea. Get some, get some decoys, some homemade decoys, put them on the edge, and then somehow sit up there. If you guys want to see that video, drop a comment down below. Let us know. And we'll do it for you. Well, he's out here feeding. Check it out. Love being out here. It's so so neat. It's nice getting out of town, getting away, getting out here on the farm. I miss it, man. I used to work on a farm for a lot of years. Easy peasy with the old cow blind. Oh god, the wind's back. Don't get caught in the wind. Oh. Ah. Well, I don't know, I bet you that thing weighs. What do you think that weighs? Oh. Definitely over 100 pounds. Yeah. Like, More than what I want to carry all over the place. Probably right out of 100 pounds. Yeah. And it's a. Uh, need to put a pad on there. Woo. Well, we got her loaded up. The old cow blind. I gotta say, the birds that came over, the limited amount that came over the blind, the limited amount that are actually here, they didn't mind the old cow blind. They didn't mind us sitting there. They couldn't even tell the difference. It worked. But we're gonna have to find a new spot for the starlings. We're gonna have to hunt some different fields, some different farms, because we've shoved them out of here. Now the thing is about starlings, they group up at dairy farms really, really hard during the winter because it's a constant source of food. During the summer, not only have we driven them out of here, but they also don't need to be here for a continuous food source because it's warm. They don't need to eat that heavy. But we will be hunting with the old cow blind again, you better know. What's your thoughts on the cow blind? What's your, what's your oh. go-to thought here? Cow blind's great. Maybe just a, either a touch wider or the bars evened out a little bit. but. Other than that, I mean, functionally, it was great. I think we're just gonna have to find a bigger concentration of starlings, and that would be another farm that hasn't been touched yet. But let me know if you guys enjoyed the, uh, the, the cow blind starling shoot. You guys have been really telling me and Jordan, hey, you guys need to keep doing the starling shoots. Well, we're gonna resort to some, some pellet gun starling shoots. We still have some, I, I mean, epic, epic, epic pigeon hunts to come, so be expecting those. It's gonna be a good one. It's gonna be. It is. Exciting. It's gonna be. It's gonna be a really good one. We have a really good idea uh, for a really good saucy pigeon hunt. So be expecting that one coming up. But if you guys have any video suggestions, put them down in the comments below. I love uh, reading your video ideas. I get some of the best video ideas from y'all. And if you haven't, check out DucksWaterfowl.com. I'll link this hat, this shirt, 
All the ducksWaterfowl.com will be linked down below. Whenever you guys pick up something, it goes directly to support me and helping me bring y'all more videos. But subscribe if you haven't. We'll see you on the next one. <laughs>